this mower this weekend and uh, this mower particularly has been a piece of junk. Uh, Dad used it and I guess this motor here ain't mowing very well. I mean, it's leaving a lot of grass sticking up. You have to run over it three or four times to get to cut anything. So I'm thinking the mode, the pumps are just kind of weak on it. So we're going to take it back. Uh, I don't know yet whether, whether or not we'll get another one, but um, we'll, we'll wait and get a 70. This is only a 66 inch mower. They really don't fit the skid steer very well. But we're going to see if we might go ahead and get the another brand of mower and try it out but this just this particular one it's the pumps on it are weak um, i've heard that they've had to rebuild some of these pumps on these mowers and that got into this hose which has already been it already had some uh, wear spots up there at the top so we're going to take it back this morning and uh, let's see what happens whether or not we'll get another one i don't know yet but this one here for the books is a piece of junk so uh, it probably needs to put the drive motors rebuilt in it and new hoses. So, anyhow, we'll catch y'all a little later. So today we are taking home a Vernig, which I have heard of a few times or another. Um, it is a severe duty mower, brush mower, because the brush cat gave it up on us. Because of that guy ran it like hell, that guy ran it like hell, and it you don't do that to a machine and it lasts. So. We took it back and they let us take this home and we're gonna go try it out and see how we like it. We're gonna ultimately buy a brush cat, Bobcat brand because of the flotation of it. But when you get a chance to try something new, it never hurts. So we're gonna try one of these Vernigs out. Um, I know that How Farms Works has says some stuff about Vernig. I don't know if he's ever tried out the mower or not, but we are getting ready to, I guess we rented demo it um, because I've never ran one so we're going to take it home and start uh, mowing with it and see what happens
So that concludes the weekend having the mower. We didn't get to use it a whole lot. Um, as you can see, it's got actually it's got dual sided blades on it. It's got dual sided blades. We all I gotta do is just flip it. Um, single motor on it. It mows great. It really does. It, it did a real good job. I just got done mowing this ditch here out. But it doesn't do real great for grass. Uh, it's mainly a brush mower. It's not a grass mower like the brush cat is. But um, it does mow it down. But it also it bogs it down real bad. Um, like I said, it's mainly a brush mower. Um, but it will mow grass. But like I said, it, it really does. It has a hard time with grass. Especially when you're full stick forward, it really does bog down pretty bad. Um, but that comes along with the single drive motor. And we only got one drive motor, that's what's going to happen with your hydraulic flow. So, anyhow, that's really all I got to say. It's great for brush, it's great, great for up in the woods, but around on hills and stuff, this thing is not what you're needing. The brush cat has probably got to be the best for around a lot of hills and hollers and stuff. Cause that mower floats this year you have to keep adjusting it um, up and down so you know great for brush great for a lot of heavy duty applications uh, and on flat ground but for us a brush cat works a lot better so definitely really good review it's a badass mower it does a good job just not completely what we want so there you go thanks for watching please comment and subscribe catch y'all next one uh, be a lot more videos to come so thanks for watching